done. Remember how you said you he watch done. a nigga get hit in the head with a weight and then it take a second yeah, you take and it. then it's just <laughs> gonna be like this is how dead face gonna be. His face wait, gonna be like this. Wait. <laughs> Not Drizzy. No, no. This how you go. This how you go. This, this how it's gonna be. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> I feel like I was losing it. Had to get back to myself. Yeah, I felt like I was losing it. Felt like I was losing it. Had to get back to myself. Yeah, I felt like I was losing me. Had to get back to myself. Popping perks like it was good for my health. Started fucking with my stomach, it ain't help. Running through these streets till you traumatized. I just keep my head up, keep faith in the lie. Taking praying at the perky, fighting demons, they my enemies. Yeah, they tryna put it into me. Got a bad bitch, look like Kim K with a fat ass called a Kimberly. No, that bitch don't mean shit to me. Crying out for help. Them niggas I lost, gotta keep one under the belt. Got it out the mud, did it all by myself. Ain't never shown no love. I don't need no one no, no, no. Yeah. No, no. Swerving the fast cars, pouring the act up. I'm going up. I got a bad bro. She's giving the ass up. She's giving the suck. She's giving the ass up. Like getting on bad boy. She running it up. Yeah. That was Mac and Cheese. Yeah. You're now tuned in to us. Me, 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 Nasty Nut, the no, new it's crew. Mac and no, it's the not. New, the new album coming out. Nasty as they want to be. The Nasty Nut Boys. <laughs> and that was Mac and Cheese once again. Mac Song and Cheese. Song of the week. Song hey, listen. Before we get into Me and Osworth for Game, let's let them know who is sponsored by. Yeah, SeatGeek. SeatGeek. Let me tell you something. If y'all ain't got SeatGeek, SeatGeek app, download it immediately. SeatGeek really is the shit out here. It is. If. If you're looking for tickets to any event, any event, anything, I don't care where you're trying to go, there's no other reason to look for no other apps, no other websites, no, there's no reason. SeatGeek is where it's at. I used them two weeks ago to go to the fight. My wife got me uh, my All Star Game or All Star Game yeah, tickets. Our, fucking tell my uh, mind. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> our All Star Game tickets off of SeatGeek. And uh, listen, the best thing about SeatGeek, too, is that when you go on there and say if I want to uh, get a $60 ticket to somewhere, mm -hmm. it shows you the best seats for your money, opposed to you having to go on there and you got to search and I don't want to sit there, I don't, don't want to sit there. No, they that. show you the best seats for your money. So that that's like... You can't, you can't beat yeah, that. Can't. Like, yeah, you can't beat that. Like, you're going to go on there. They're going to show you basically where you want to sit at. And so that that's just, that's legendary. But it's all that. They grade every ticket seat from zero to 10 to help you find the best seat that fits your budget. Plus, every purchase is fully guaranteed. So you can shop on SeatGeek with total 100% confidence because everything is fully guaranteed. Just download the SeatGeek app. And make sure y'all enter the promo code GAME. 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 G-A-M-E. You'll get $10 off your first purchase. So you do not want to miss out on that. Once again, download the SeatGeek app and make sure y'all enter the promo code GAME. Because we're always giving back, man. We at least want to give you $10 off your ticket. So SeatGeek is where it's at. No need to go to any other Places for tickets for any other events other than Seat Geek. Seat Geek. Hey, y'all want to get into a million dollars worth of game? Let's get into a million dollars worth of game, man. All right, man. How was y'all weekend, man? The weekend was great. Okay, cool. But I got, you know, I, I got somebody that want to ask you a question. Though. What? One of our callers. They, they, you know, they wanted to ask you a personal question. I don't, I don't know if you want to answer it, though. I mean, we, what, you want to start it off with a personal question? I'm just saying they wanted to ask you a question. All right, go ahead. Let's see. This P calling from Houston. This question for the OG for Gilly. Say, man, I just want to hear from the horse's mind so it ain't no conspiracy or none of that. This coming from a Wayne fan, you feel me? I fuck with you, you feel me? I respect your, you feel me? Your OG status, the, the shit, you know, the, the shit you've done in the streets. And I fuck with you, but this did this coming from, you know, a Wayne fan before the beef, you know, motherfucking hot boy. 
you know, reason how, but man, it's clear to hell, man. If you ghost white the Carter, I just want to hear this from the, 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 the horses in my eye, man. Like, me and my niggas, we all about this shit all the time. I just want to hear from the, 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 the horses in my eye, whether you song to the whole album or you, man, if you ghost white the Carter, man. Holla at me. Fuck no! <laughs> Fuck no! Shout out to Houston. I'm glad you asked that oh, question. Oh, oh, all that shit was oh, a lie. So, oh, so all that shit was a lie. Up, Fuck no. Okay. Fuck no, he did. Uh, okay. I, I you wrote it out there. Okay. No, I didn't write no. I wrote stuff for him. No. But he didn't no, he didn't write it. No, no. that was a fucking lie. I'm, so, just, so, so I'm you tired of this going, shit. You thought you was going to set up a setup for me. After baby cut him off by text <laughs> and said, You're fucking fired. You're fired. Okay. You keep playing with me. No, no. Keep fucking playing with me. Baby cut him off. Watch me tell niggas how Sammy Summertime took your innocence up Dallas and picked Dallas, nigga. Sammy Summertime. Watch me tell niggas how Sammy, no, Sammy Summertime, Summertime took your Sammy fucking today. innocence up. Listen, T, shout out to my man right, out of Houston. Don't tell, Fuck no, he did not write that man. That was his claim to fame because, up Dallas to pink because, because what happened is make me he was hurt. How Sammy he was fucking hurt. Sammy his baby got rid of him. Shout out to the baby. Dallas to pink you fucking Dallas, nigga. He tried to live off Fuck of cash money, right? Because they was the shit. I was in sale like, yo, cash money is shit. Cash money is an army better yet. That's my boys. Yeah. If I didn't know no better, I'm from Philly slash Baltimore slash New Orleans. Let me expose that. Fuck all that. Let me expose that you was a fucking uh, a professional spotter in the yard, nigga. I wasn't no spotter. He's mad. Fuck no, is you talking no, about? No, I answered the question. That's it. Nut ass nigga. That's it. I answered the question. No, he, he was, was setting going somebody going, up. Uh, what's the name? No, Sammy Summertime took your fucking innocence <laughs> yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, well, whatever. the Pink Palace, nigga. Yeah, go, go, go ahead. Fuck say what you got to say. Uh, what you going on? Nut ass nigga. Show. Let's get in the million dollars worth of game. Shout out to T. Houston. I answered it. Listen, right. In the light of Kobe Bryant, you know, passing away, shout out R.I.P. to Kobe, you know, GG, you know, and all the rest of the passengers that was on, you know, the the, the, the helicopter that went yes, down. Respect. Shout out to That's all the families. All, all the families. You know, respect and, 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 you know, hold your heads. And we sent our condolences out to the family. And just, it happened so, like, unexpected. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it really shook the, the country up, like. Mm-hmm. Shook the, the world up, not the country. It shook the world up, you know what I mean? Because Kobe Bryant was a, a worldwide, global uh, icon. And it just had me thinking, like, what was, like, the, the, the what was the top, like, most crucial celebrity deaths that impacted, the most impactful celebrity deaths that impact impacted the world, like oh, you talking about like singers, anybody that's popular? like anybody that was a celebrity. Mm-hmm. Well, for you know, me, like I... like like you know, what was the what was like the let's say the top five most impactful that was like damn, just like it just like fucked the world up. Well, I remember like uh, for me personally, like when Jimmy when Jimmy Hendrix died, it was like man, it was a time in life where it was like. It was just like, man, you know, like people were so sad. Nigga, like, Jimi Hendrix died in the 70s, bitch. You wasn't even alive. <laughs> Fuck is you talking about? No, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I looked at a lot of videos. Like, <laughs> Jimi Hendrix on, died in like 73 on, or some shit. He died in 1970, but I'm just saying. I looked at Nigga, it. you was born in 79, We're talking about bitch. people Fuck that was a lot like head. Selena or Princess no, Diana or some talk, shit. No, I'm just saying. I'm just, listen, I'm just saying. Jimmy, like the whole group was fucked up because like when Jimmy died, it was like. Talk, you wasn't alive, It ain't about bro. me being alive. I watched the Fuck videos. Fuck you talking about? I watched them. You can watch a minute video that showed the moment and in time. And I felt that shit. I was like, damn. You know, because you know. Purple haze all in yo, brain. Yo, you know what? I kind of feel you because I watched La Bamba, and when he died at the end, Richie Valens. La Bamba was, was real though, wasn't it? I don't know. No, he was a real dude, but when I watched the movie, Richie! He thought the movie bro, was a documentary. That shit. No, no that was. He thought it was real. <laughs> no, it wasn't. So La Bamba wasn't real. <laughs> Come on, man. That's Blue Dot or oh, oh, Lou Diamond Phillips, man. Uh, but you know. I'm saying La Bamba was about a real person. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It was a real Yeah, yeah. La Richie Bamba. Valen, Richie. Hey. That shit was hard. Nigga, that, La Bamba was based off a real fucking person, you idiot. Yeah, he thought Ricky from fucking Boys in the Hood was a real nigga. Right. He, he, <laughs> he like thought Ricky, was, yo. He thought he idiot. was really going. To, he was like, yo, right. Ricky was going to be one of the best football players of all time. <laughs> right. Like, Ricky's not real. I, I really Dick, don't. Dickhead. <laughs> It's a fucking idiot. Yo, man. He don't he don't understand the real d- shit that's yeah. based on true stories and what's not based on true stories. But if we talking worldwide, Michael Jackson is just so up there. Oh, I think uh 
Kobe Bryant shit was like so crazy. Nipsey Hustle shit, crazy. And 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 I think I think Nipsey might not have been as big as a lot of these people, mm-hmm. but I think Nipsey Hustle was definitely one of the most impactful out of everybody because you've never seen a celebrity executed like that yes. on camera. Not yes. just that. It's like it's sad that he had to die for people to know the good person that he was. You know, all the good shit he was doing. Like Absolutely. it's like it's like here it is, you put music out, you do your thing. But what he did for the community, what he did for his personal homeboys, right. how he looked out for him, put game on him, put him in position and all that shit. Right. That supersede the music for me. Right. You right. see what I'm saying? It's like, it's like his music is the shit. Right. But it's like, yo, he was doing some real good shit to the hood. And it was like, um, bro had to die for everybody to say, oh, people, why do you how do you follow somebody after they die? Right, right. right. Like his followers went up. I'm like, what? Like, like how do you? What you wanted to say? Oh no, I was following him. But at, at the end of some the day, people, like, some people, but some cool. people. But they, at the end of the day, it don't make no sense. It's like uh, he he's not posting anymore, right? But you so just want to say like you wasn't been there. following him before he was. Yeah, when, when he, he was, was out living, here doing it, he was giving but it up. Now he did, and he dies, and people push the follow button after somebody. Like what? Type of sense that doesn't does that, that, make that no don't sense. make any sense. The, the nigga's not posting nothing. And like what I like about can't, you can't post from heaven. Like personally about motherfuckers Nip- is crazy though. Like it doesn't make sense. Like and, and honestly, it is a shame that sometimes it take for a tragic situation like that to happen for people to really understand how talented you talented you was, how uh good of a person you was, how great of a heart you had. You know what I'm saying? How much of a leader you was? Because when you die, a lot of your stuff is highlighted, right? Right. If you was a dickhead, they're going to highlight that. If you was a good person, they're going to highlight that. Right. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Like, like for instance, if Gil died a day tomorrow, he's going to be known for an extraordinary, notorious, worldwide, global dickhead. What? Get the fuck out of here, nigga. No, no he's going to be known for global dick, bitch. He's I'm going to be known for changing lives, bitch. No, you're going to be known for fuck being a hot cop. I changed you two raggedy ass niggas' lives. He's going to be known for being a hot cop. Hold on. I changed you two raggedy ass niggas' lives. He's going to be known for being a hot, a war, uh, listen, he's going to be known for being a, a hard, hot sausage. So, listen, listen. <laughs> Come on, man. Listen. I'm not saying listen, it in the wrong way. Listen, listen, listen. First of all. And a spice guy. Okay, listen, okay, listen. First of all. Lil, go ahead. Lubing his lips up. Lubing his lips. The lip lube. The lip luber. Hi. My shit can't be checked. What you advertising for lip lube? No, 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 no. This my shit can't be checked, but just listen. Shiny lips. Listen. You got before, a little sparkle before, before, little, before Dev came on me and I was worth a game. Little, gl- little right? glitter in there. Dev was somewhere at his crib <laughs> replaying old porno tapes. <laughs> Come on, man. Listen, uh, listen. His no, no, his joints. He, he was, was watching. His he joints. was somewhere. He was somewhere waiting to die, replaying all his old porno <laughs> tapes. One day he, he was watching himself. It. Right, right. One day he, he wasn't he squeezing off watching himself. <laughs> yes, he was. He was squeezing off watching. Uh, he was uh, one day how he could bring that beat back. You feel what I'm saying? That's crazy. You man. know what I mean? So I, I see lives out here. You came home from jail. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? <laughs> You was talking about cousin brother for my album. I said, no, the fuck you yeah, not. The Middle Room Warrior the, the album. The Middle Room Warrior album. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm in the middle. Was, I'm in the middle. I'm in the middle. Yeah, I'm in the middle. He, he was going to do Money in the Middle. Over. He was going to do <laughs> Wally in the Middle. Where he at? I'm in, in the, the middle. middle. Wally, Wally in the Middle. Wally, 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 Wally in the Middle. middle. <laughs> yeah, it was going to be legend. I heard legend. that was your single up to jail. Wally in the Middle. No, yeah, yeah, fucking in the middle. Was in the what was you in the middle of? I was in the middle. He lied It was the four. It was a four X jumper that had three niggas. Nigga was in the middle. Nigga was in the middle of Big Butch and Sammy Summers. You keep lying. You keep Listen, take that smut off my hey, Take that smut off I my fucking head. Listen, he was in the middle of BB and SS. Big Butch and Sammy Summers. Yo. <laughs> Yo. He put smut on my name, man. Wally in the middle. We at in, in the, the middle, man. Wally in the middle. Your lips real good. Listen, that's cool. Why are you looking at my fucking I'm just saying, like don't that, have them type dude, of bro. listen. Listen, them oh, 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 he, he was about to say, don't have no type of lips around me. I'm just saying, jail. I said, in jail. Don't do that in jail. Bro, I said, no. Bro, you yo. was about to say, don't have gloss said, don't have around, around, around me. Yo, like, you like, are. Like, cuffed, don't, don't bring your lips around me, true spicy for real. True spicy for real. 
This boy's spicy, man. Yo, I ain't say me. Yo, I was yo, saying don't have him in jail. <laughs> yo, you ain't say nothing about him. Your lips is glossed up. Yo. Then like niggas said, don't put no bliss sex on around me. Don't lube your lips around well, me. Lip I, didn't say that. I didn't say that. I had flashbacks from niggas. I didn't say lips. that. I just said, listen, man. Let's join Wait, some. Deb. Hey, Deb, I'm just going to tell everybody in the room. It's a written rule. Nigga, you better have some chap lips around this motherfucker. Don't put no <laughs> bliss sex on me. He lying on me. Don't around put, Wallow. Don't put no Vaseline intensive this care. This boy lying on me. Don't put, dog, I can't believe you just low-key came out the closet like that. No, you lying on me. On your cousin, too. That's incest, dog. I said you, no, I didn't say, I said don't lube your lips. Don't lube your lips. Don't lube your lips around me like that. You being areas of the city that's like. No, don't don't try to change it up, dog. I'm just saying, man. Nigga gonna try to, don't lube your lips up around me like that, cuz. Nigga, flash that. He be in wild areas, man. Sammy, stop the top, I'm trying to listen. On some real stuff, I'm trying to say. make me lube my lips up. Get off of me, Sammy. Sammy. Sammy it's summertime. It's wet time. <laughs> Sammy summertime. You hear this shit? You got my name smutted out out here, man. Get that shit off my name out here, man. Hey, so I would say the top five most impactful deaths. Let's, let's not lose the subject. Don't loop your lips up around. Oh, you a spicy. Come on. We going to say. Michael Jackson. <laughs> Michael Jackson. No, 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 no. Oh. Kobe Bryant. Mm. I'm gonna just say something, man. Kobe got to be in front of Michael Jackson mm. because we don't know how Michael Jackson went. Yeah, and it was a child involved. It was a lot, man. That was right. it was deep. Mm-hmm. That was deep. So we're gonna say Kobe Bryant. I'm gonna say Nipsey Hussle. Okay. After that, only because the way Nipsey went out in the age that Nipsey went out at, Michael Jackson, just because he was uh, the biggest icon of the icon. What about Whitney? Whitney Houston. That's big. What about Muhammad Ali? Legend. That's, I mean, because, that's big. Because it was parades in Kentucky. Bro. What about Freddie Mercury? From Queen? Nah, for me, not nah, seriously. Kurt Cobain, bro. That was crazy, but Freddie that's, Mer- cr- that's a crazy joint. What like, about Freddie Mercury from Queen? We listen. all the child. What's your per- but what Wait, Freddie Mercury died of AIDS, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, he died of AIDS, listen, man. Listen, Gil. Easy E. AIDS. Gil. Yeah, Gil, so H-I-B. don't try no shit, Gil. What about you, yo? Personally, who you who who impacted you? If you said if it was a person, if the, the, the most impactful death to me, I don't even want to count Nipsey because that's your no, real homie. No, 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 no. It's only it's on, it's only a couple celebrities. Let me just be honest. It's only a couple celebrities that passed, and I actually shed tears. Nipsey was a friend of mine. Right, that's different. So that 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 touch close to home. When Tupac Shakur was murdered, it was me and my homie Ricky together riding in North Philly in a powdered blue, some type of old car. Mm-hmm. When we when that shit came across the radio that Tupac Shakur was shot. And lost, and we just both cried. Like, mm. And it was crazy because we really cried. Like, we knew the nigga. That's how it was for me for like, Aaliyah. We, like, Aaliyah. Like, 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 I was banging on the dashboard like, damn, these niggas killed Pop. Like, and that was like, that was like a, that was like a shout out to Pac to how how much his music touched us as as youngins. You know what I'm saying? That we felt like we knew him. You know what I'm saying? When I was growing up, the artists and the rappers that we that I connected to was the rappers. I felt like I knew them. Like that's what I say all the time. I you know it was connected to me. When Pac died, you know it was crazy. It was just no BS. I just finished robbing like a CVS. I was coming out of a CVS. I robbed it and I jumped in the car with you know what I mean with with a with an OG of mine and we driving and it was on the radio. What was his name? Well OG. I'm not I'm not saying nobody's name. Say rat. I'm not saying no names, right. but it was like I literally just like like moments before the, it came across Pi 99 in the radio, I was in a, you know in Philadelphia in the North Philly section robbing the CV. Like it was just crazy. Yeah. Coming out of it, and I jumped in the car, I'm like, what? And they just start playing all Pac music. I was like, Yeah, if it that no, music, that music man. hit different, man. Prodigy Mob Deep is my number one, man. Number one in Aaliyah. Aaliyah was just super yeah. crazy, bro. Aaliyah. Damn. Yeah. Shout out to Aaliyah. R. You had you had Aaliyah. Left Eye, 
Yeah. Plain, like it was just like, yo, it's crazy, man. Right. And I think I think a lot of these times when they hit you for that moment, you feel like, man, I gotta appreciate life more. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of times we, right. we 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 take like like a lot of people take for granted like life. Like you know, you, you know why though? Not to cut you off, because regular nine to five people look at somebody like Kobe Bryant who has all the money and they don't expect somebody like Kobe Bryant to die. He's immortal to them. You feel what I'm yeah, saying? You can't die when you so, got a lot of money. Steve Jobs so, died. So when when like something like that anything. happens, it's it's almost like it almost like the normal the regular person who just got the nine to five. It really puts shit into perspective because it's like holy shit. If Kobe Bryant could go out like that, I would definitely right. fucking die. Yeah, I'm paying like, attention on the road. Like, I'm putting his phone away. I'm driving oh, safe. I'm, oh shit! Let me let me. I was beefing with my uncle and my mom and my brothers and my cousins. Man, life too short. Man, Kobe Bryant just died at 41, 42. God. Damn, cuz I'm sorry, man. Yeah, I word love up. you, man. Word because up. It, it, you know, it's like because people look at people with money as though they ain't dying young because they got enough money to get rid of all the diseases. They can get rid of anything. They can get rid of the, the. But in the actuality, man, when it's your time to go, it's your time to go. That's just the reality of this shit, and nothing can save you. No money. No, no, no doctors. No, when it's your time to go, it's your time to go. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, man, uh, I would probably say the top five most impactful deaths of my living had to be Kobe Bryant, Tupac Shakur, Michael Jackson, Biggie Smalls. I got to go with six. Muhammad Ali and Nipsey Hussle. <laughs> and shout out to Mike. Shout out to John Singleton. Yeah. Shout out to Heath Ledger, yeah. Prince, Whitney Houston, everybody, Aaliyah. We named a lot of people. One of my legends. And, I, and, 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 and to all my Caucasian people that's listening, you know, you got to understand that I grew up in an in a, in a urban atmosphere. So a lot of the people who was most impactful to me are going to be black. Uh, shout out to uh, somebody that was very important to me personally. Uh, You're like Aaron. him, Freddie Mercury. Was it? He was white. Yeah, Freddie Mercury, yeah. a queen. He was a legend. All right, you know him and uh, Freddie uh, had a lot of things in common. Like, so. like uh, also, uh, don't don't be <laughs> your lips still shining. Uh, also, I want to give a shout out to somebody special. You know, somebody that really had an impact on my journey as I travel through life now. Anthony Bourdain. Oh, I thought you were about peace. to say Karate Earl. No, 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 he no, no, he no, was. No. That was no, coming. That was, no, it was coming. Oh, That's Earl, coming. Hold up. Man. Anthony, Come on. Anthony, what, Anthony, Anthony, Anthony Bourdain, right? Legendary. Uh, parts unknown, no reservations. The layover had three shows. He, you know, he was on drugs, came back, had all these shows, traveled the world, documented it, you know, introduced people to different cultures. I used to watch this guy in prison religiously, and I said, when I get out, I'm going to meet him. I never got a chance to meet Anthony, you know, uh, First of all, his I'm pretty sure his name wasn't Anthony, Anthony. with an F. It was Anthony, but it's cool. Anthony, whatever. Okay. And uh, I just, you know, he was a legend to his family. Uh, you know, if you, you can hear this, man, he was, you know, somebody I got some game from, just traveling and introducing people to information because that's what he did. And, you know, he taught me that. But uh, the biggest impact in my life from a, on a celebrity standpoint of a person dying was Karate Earl, a uh, world-renowned uh, mixed martial art, grandmaster, black belt, neighborhood kung fu master. Mm. He was all like he was everything that you could think of of a black karate, a black karate uh, man in the ghetto. Protect and a, serve. He, he was, was a, a neighborhood trick. Stop. He used to spend all his veterans' money on pussy. Don't forget if you're going, just, bah! If you're you going to shout that? him out. Shout that was him Earl. Out that was Earl. Was in Earl. Right. Earl jumped out. Ah, of me. Earl, jump, jump, bam! Yeah. Earl jumped out of me. You see, Earl jumped jump, out of me. No, emotional move. Don't say Earl jumped out oh of you. My God. Yeah, I felt it. Earl, no. the energy of Earl. No, <laughs> no, that was the energy of Earl. No, no, don't make him jump out. I'm just saying that was the energy of Earl. <laughs> it always go back to Earl touching you at the park that day, <laughs> yeah. dog. Because like, to jump out of you, you got to jump in you. And it's right. Like, no. He said. My yeah. nigga jump out you that ain't jump in you. Um, jump with Jamal. <laughs> jump with Jamal. <laughs> so go ahead, bro. That was the energy of Earl. It was like, uh, 
I just want to say that Earl, man, you was everything, man. He was like my greatest, you know, you know I me. Mean? But like celebrity wise, it's like that Kobe thing really messed me up because you know, um, it wasn't just Kobe. It was a whole, it was right. friends, family, kids, man. And then the Nipsey things, just seeing it happen, it was just like that shit. Fuck, you know, it messed you up because you know this brother. You know, I, I'm gonna just say this. I travel in a world where there was a lot of entertainers involved, and uh. Not many times you can walk inside a room, you know, because I do my thing. You know, people might know me from social media, but I'm never expecting people to know me. Um, and, with, and with Nipsey, it was like, it was just super love. And it was crazy, you know, to be able to walk in a room and you've never been in a room with somebody first time and they somebody like, you know, him. Because I listened to Nipsey music, so I was already tuned in. And it's like, he like, damn, Wilo, what's up? That's like major, you know, because a lot of these rappers and quote unquote celebrities they used to people kissing their ass all the time. They want somebody to honor them all. Oh, you know, but it's some, I will say it's some selective artists out there that's real solid people. And I don't want to put no frauds out there, people that be, you know, really be scared when you come around and all put this Put them goofy out there. Shit. No, be scared. Motherfuckers all right, be scared. to me, so I put them out there. No, be scared when you come around. You be like, damn, I ain't you even doing it. a bitch. I'm like, not even, no, I'm like, not even going to do that. This is what we are truth. To tell it to me, I'm going to put them out there. You didn't say shit. Uh, <laughs> Gilly. <laughs> You, you want to fucking scared oh, when I'm around. Nut ass nigga. You get scared, you, you fake ass rapper. Nut ass nigga. You scared eight time cash money affiliates come around. <laughs> fucking nut. That's all I'm saying. All right, let's get into the. What's the top R and B song of all time? Oh, that's easy. Uh, oh, no, can we? We know that Hills, Gill's boy made probably a whole top five list. We got it. Can we delete him? Because he's like the master. No, I didn't. I didn't, Gil, I didn't make no list. I'm saying Gill's homie. Who? You know whose house you was chilling at. R. Kelly, man. You know that shit for him. You know. R. Kells, man. He got to oh. have this list on Smash. Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, he on it. I mean, he better be. He on. He definitely on it. But what that got to do with, with me chilling at his crib? I'm just saying. I, 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 my, your list might have favored all, all R. Kelly. But oh, I mean. Here we go. Y'all know this is. Who y'all got the best R&B song of all time? Uh, I'm going to say. It's a lot, man. It depends yeah, on what area you is. You got, you got. R. Kelly bumping ground. Yeah. See? that's. I mean, it's heavy. Make it last forever, Key Swing. I don't see nothing wrong with a little bump and grind. I believe I could fly. It's crazy big, man. I don't see nothing wrong. Mm, down, down. Personal favorite, Motown Philly. Oh, Motown Philly is that's a that's a heavy. Um, like I know your person, your, your all time favorite. Mine's a super freak. No, no, no. Yours is, it's <laughs> raining, man. Yo. Hallelujah, it's That's disco. raining, man. Oh, okay. That's a disco oh, okay. song. Oh, my fault. That's right. That was your number one disco song. Well, your number one R&B uh, song was, um, I'm every woman. <laughs> it's all in me. All in you. Anything you want done, baby, I do it now. What did that got to do with me? Whoa, 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 whoa. No, what did that got to do with me? up to jail banging that joint. That shit was screaming out the cell. I'm every woman. I'm every You know that song real good. I don't even know the song. Yeah, because my mom used to play it as a kid. I don't know. That was your shit. You were singing it as a little kid. I was just sister dress on. I'm every woman. Your mom cleaned the house. All the shit you better. No. No. No, they say that shit was screaming out the cell. Too. You, you off the hook, man. What about they, End of the Road? That's a legendary song. That what was about a, Tony, Tony, Tony? It never rains in Southern California. I like Tony, Tony, Tony anniversary better. You got Sexual of, healing. Listen, listen, you got that. You got a, there's a lot of people, man. Uh, Genuine. Pony. Uh, Genuine. That's, that's, that's big. Boom. No, but yeah, as soon like as that comes on. on. Listen, listen, listen bonk, I love, bonk, I love bonk. all Shaw Day. Your love is king. Yeah, she was singing that yeah, song too. So me. much. But he he got one with that pony joint. That's yeah, a pony. He was he's stripped that strip out to that. <laughs> what about Usher? You know you got it bad. Oh my god, that's Usher a major. Hong Kong. That's a major one. Yeah, no, what about what about right right back. Back. What about Keith Washington? Too nice to night. Oh, we can share. <laughs> Turn <laughs> off the <laughs> lights. Come, come close to me. <laughs> Tell me I'm all <laughs> you ever need. <laughs> All that shit. Oh, nigga, that's that shit. Yeah, you know I mean, so you got legendary songs, man. Oh, no, you got, hold on, though. But, um, nobody's supposed to be here. That's a legend. That's a big one. That's a legend. Deborah Cox. Deborah Cox. Yeah. Deborah what Cox. about, what about, uh, Alicia Keys? No one. 
Lisa no, Keys got some. Uh, no. Oh, what's the other one? Secrets is crazy. Secrets. Secret Garden. You talking about Barry White? No, man. Secrets no. from Alicia Keys. Oh, you got a uh, damn. It's a lot of shit. Baby face. Make you got it last forever. You got so many people. You got Lenny Williams. I love. Oh, oh, oh. a Luther Vandross joint gotta be on your come do, do. I need well, to. Hold on, Stevie Wonder gotta have some. Oh, yeah, gotta yeah, go. yeah, oh my yeah, god, yeah. yo, this is this Ebony list is impossible. And Ivory. This you list is impossible, dog. Yeah, no, I, got some, I got somebody. <laughs> and then we ain't even put MJ in there. But oh he my was, god. was he the king of pop or did he have R No, no, because why? 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 Come on, human nature. Boop, boop. Tell, Tell him that it's right, well, human nature. I got, oh, oh, I got somebody that, that had an R and B question. What? How you doing? My name is Wall from Mo. Nickname AR. My million dollar a game question is who is a better group? The Isley brothers or Frankie Beverly and Maze? And why are they the best group? Now Frankie, Frankie Beverly, Beverly and Maze from Philly. Frankie Beverly and so, Maze. But you know, Isley Cole too. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> you make me happy. The fuck is wrong with you? No, we gotta get that's Philly. We, you know, you, you go make me. Ryan Oz and them, they some bad motherfuckers. They is, but they're Frankie they Beverly. Just because they might be better than Frankie Beverly, but Frankie Beverly, because they from Philly. And yeah. You know, we Philadelphia bias. Yeah. yeah, we are. You know, we can't lie. Legend. So we can't come up with the top R&B That shit is like impossible, though. And then we done miss so many people. Yeah, that's a fact. But the best thing about our followers is that when we post this shit, they going to Attack let us. us know who the fuck we They're going to know who we really yeah, yeah. You <laughs> fucking <laughs> forgot this How nigga. I yeah. oh, fuck y'all fucking. You forgot I'll somebody's say. watching me. Like that. That's what you thought was in the How you forget Tony Rich Project? <laughs> Yeah. Guapale. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we didn't name any people from the day, though. Don't none of them have a song that could go and could be up there? Shout out to everybody from the day, but it's like, they going up against some shit. They going against some history that's unmatched. <laughs> it's, it's hard to compete with history. <laughs> they going up against some shit that's unmatched. Huh? Like it's, hard, it's hard to keep people. It's hard to compete with the Bulls. Yeah. You know what I mean? Even though they ain't got to, like, it's hard to compete Plus, with Plus, now the songs is different. It's like, girl, you gonna suck my dick after the club? And, and, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like, it's totally different. Damn, like, that is a deep song. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That would've been a hit. <laughs> <laughs> That's all they do, yo. Yeah, that was deep. Once that nigga got away with saying, uh, pull your panties to the side, I said, well, I'm in a different world, baby. Yeah. Like the, 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 the R&B <laughs> songs now be, I don't want to give you the wrong impression. I need drugs and connections. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, they ain't playing. And I yeah. don't want to be sounding too desperate. Yeah, they be deep. That should be deep. For real. Shout out to the, shout out to all the youngest that's doing their day, but you niggas don't make it in this bus. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> you motherfuckers don't make it in. This. All right, let's do. Uh, I want to do something different, right? No, fuck that. Let me ask this question first before we get into something different. What y'all doing if y'all scrolling down the gram, right? Y'all get the Drake page. <laughs> Take him some crazy shit. Right? Mm-hmm. And he got a picture. He in his hotel room with a bunch of bitches in the background and you see your woman in the pic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, she done. She yo, done. Listen, yo, that's she done. It's gonna my, be a baby. My shot. first, just said my first, my first <laughs> reaction, reaction. First reaction is just, just, just bro. bro. Yo, you remember? Remember how you said you She's watch done. a nigga get hit in the head with a weight, and then it take a second, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then it just, just gonna be like. This is how dead face gonna be. His face wait, gonna be like this. Wait. Not Drizzy. No, no. This is how you go. This is how you go. This is how it's gonna be. <laughs> You know that's one of my favorite rappers, bitch. <laughs> the fuck is you doing out here? 
<laughs> least he got blessed. At least he blessed. At least he blessed. He gonna be sitting home on the couch listening listen, to listen, Drake listen, crying. Listen, listen. Who you rather blessed? Yo, listen. how can you? Oh, how he said I'm gonna be crying. Listen, I'm listening listen, to, to Marvin's room. I'm crying. But listen, 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 listen. Who you rather listen? Listen. listen. Who you rather blaze? Listen, listen. 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 Who you rather blaze your chick? A corny bum rapper, a trash rapper, or your favorite rapper? No, a bum. No, no, hold on, hold on. They seem like, yeah, but Drake. Hold on, hold on, At least if some people on, know, they like Drake. Hold on, hold on. If, if, all right, who would you rather smash your bitch? Drake or Meek Mills? See, I'm definitely going with Drake because I knew Meek Mills and them, they, they from Philly. They ain't got they no, they're going to trash my bitch yeah. in there. <laughs> Yeah, at least, so at least, at least, at least, at least, at least, is it Canada? It's like, Drake, so, no, 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 Drake's sensitive. He kissing bitches. He, mm. he gonna kiss you, probably get him. Me and him gonna be, hey, bitch, get this dick. Yeah. Hey, O'Malley. Hey, out. <laughs> All this dumb shit. Hey, talk. All this dumb ass hey, shit. Hey, talk. The yeah. world, hey, rock. <laughs> All this dumb shit. Yo. Hey, talk. 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 Yeah, you know they gonna go North Philly style. On they the gonna North, style. listen, North Yo, South Philly, uh, all of that. You done? Oh my, my god, bitch, my bitch gotta get blazed by Drake. <laughs> Fuck uh, that. Drake gonna put some candles on and blaze. Yeah, you know. He gonna put mean? some candles. He right. gonna put some Marvin Gaye on and all that shit. It's right. gonna be. Di- but you rather you rather a bum rapper? Dream no, 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 no. So, 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 but Drake, see, y'all, y'all change the subject. I rather a bum rapper. Now, when you talking about a nigga like Meek or him, then I'm definitely going with Drake too, because it's right. like it's a nigga from around the way. Because Meek and him gonna have a tag team on your bitch. They gonna do a wrestling match on your bitch. You listen, you, that oh DC God. stamp. They're going to get the DC stamp. That's crazy. Yo, Drake, if your girl Drake got the G- Yo, you Drake much rather you much rather your girl had the tattooed no, owl on her. You, you know had a crazy? tattooed DC you know what's crazy? stamp on her. I ass? didn't know about this, right? I didn't know about this, but this no bullshit. This no bullshit. I'm hollering <laughs> some, I'm hollering at a couple dudes. I ain't going to put the names out there. supposed to be heavy. And they tell me some They don't mess with bras that they quote unquote think got the DC stamp like if they see that somebody from that camp liking a certain chick pit. Oh no, stay away from her. She done. She got tagged. No, straight up. This is really going on. You got dudes in Philly that'll be like, oh, who liked the picture? Oh no, no, stay away from her. She's done. She's trash. She's she's she's, she's did damaged goods. They destroyed her. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? They That's just... crazy. No, but dudes, people was insecure like that, man. People was like that. But people were like, no, she got the DC stamp. I'm like, yo, what the fuck is that? I didn't know what was going on. I'm like, what type of stamp is that? What she work? Like, what type of what she got a tattoo or something? I don't know. And no, no, she got sprayed. And no, she got the dick chaser. She chaser's got slayed chance. and sprayed. She got the these the dick chaser stamp. <laughs> Come on, man, <laughs> the dick chasers. <laughs> yo, this thing is out of I'm like, yo, this shit crazy. And bitch like, got the DC crazy. stamp. I'm like, it's crazy. She dick chasing. <laughs> Leave her alone. It's, it's crazy though. Uh, but, but you, you listen. You want listen? You would rather have Johnny Nobody rapper? Yeah, yeah just you, a, you would let SoundCloud rapper yeah, that wear yeah, fake jersey yeah, no. right here, right, yeah, blaze yeah, your bra over yeah. Drake? Yeah, because uh-uh. that's just a regular nigga. That's uh-uh. just basically saying, do no. I rather a regular nigga no, be hitting it? All right, listen. All I'm saying is, anybody let that's me just watching say this, something. how you gonna come back from a regular Joe Smo nigga beating your bitch up, little little filthy little nigga from from Eastside Camden? Dogging his shit out of yeah. me. With the Timbs. He nigga, got scuffs on the Timbs and he wear butt naked. Yeah. And he got, and he got butt naked. naked. Oh my um, I love Drake's music. He wear butt naked and he wear wave casts. He part wear of, wave casts with baggy, with baggy fittings. But listen, at the end of the day, I'm going to ask anybody that's watching this, who would you, listen, this is what I'm saying, who would you rather let blaze your girl if your girl won't get blazed? The bull with the butt naked Timbs with scuffs on them right. that, wear, that, wear, that, wear, that wear wave caps with the wing that go to his back area. Or your favorite rapper. And baggy fit. Or your favorite or Dr- rapper. Or your, no, you got to say your favorite rapper. I don't got no favorite rapper. No favorite rapper. I'm my favorite Drake. rapper. All right, so I'm saying Drake's one of my favorite rappers. That's, That's the up, reason why. He, he got a fucked up favorite rapper if he's his favorite rapper because he's a bump. <laughs> this shit trash. The trash rapper is your favorite rapper because it's you. You're the bump. But listen, the whole twist is in the comments right here. Listen, if you're looking at this shit on YouTube in the comments, who would you let blaze your broad if somebody, if you, your broad getting blazed, you're already in the hotel. You want to be in a hotel with the bull with the baggy, the baggy fitted with the least with the you know cap. Drake going to give a bitch a little 10 piece at the mall just to he blow it. Don't mean that we involved with a, put a rich on a card and all a, that stuff. Shit, at least yeah. bitch coming home with a dime on her. She come home with some papers. Yeah, I don't want her to have shit. <laughs> Get them dick Tims. You know what I'm saying? Oh my God. See, see? Yeah. That boy will slay. But he's well, going to have gonna it like this. He's going to have it like no this. Pussy. Listen. So he's going to fuck it. He's going to fuck the brakes off. And he's going to talk dirty, nigga, damn it. He watch you. You love his dick. Drake don't give a fuck about you because it's 11. Open your mouth. Let me spit in your mouth. in the room. Let me spit in your mouth, girl. He's going to put, listen, he's going to put the feet. He's going to have the Tims all on the bed and everything. He's gonna be mad as shit when that video comes out. He gonna gonna put his Tims on her neck while he holding her down. Ah, like you did. Let me ask you a question. Is this snitching? Is this snitching? If if you show a tape, like, first of all, if you show 
a tape of you and a woman having sex. Is that snitching? No, 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 no. Fuck that. Flag on the play. Flag on the play or no penalty. If you if a guy's in a relationship, this is a new game. Mm -hmm. I just made this shit up. Is it a flag Stop on the play? On the table. Or is it no penalty? If you're in a relationship with a chick, right? Or a guy is in a relationship with a chick. He record her mm -hmm. doing sexual activity. You know, giving him a little top. You know, he giving her a shotgun blast to the head. You know. Scoliosis, a sloppy toppy. <clears throat> Blew her shit clean A Chewbacca. Off. You know, shoot crazy glue on the roof of her mouth. Mm -hmm. He might show her with the. <laughs> he might show her with her back all arched. He, he you know, he he butter in the biscuits. They in a relationship though. Mm -hmm. When she get out of a relationship and get in another relationship. If he posts that on the internet, is that a flag on the play? Or That's is a that flag on you the could get killed about that. You could get, flag you on could the get killed about that. You listen, you ain't even supposed to put that shit out there. Like that ain't that ain't that's some shit that, that was happening between y'all two. That's cool. You know what I mean? But what if okay, what if the bitch cheated on you? Still, still, it's flag on the play. <laughs> Let's start All right, listen, <laughs> let me tell you about the situation I had. Let me tell you about the situation. I had this chick. Listen, we was we was kicking in the joint. I met her in the joint. She was visiting, she was moving out for me, right? 63 year old joint. No, fuck out of here. Was it the so she sent me a bunch. No bullshit. Mm -hmm. She sent me a bunch of panty shots. I'm talking about these were some good pictures. Like mm -hmm. they was party. They was Fifi pictures. Fifi worthy, right? So she got in the joint. She was like, "Yeah, wow, I'm in a you know relationship. You know, she moved on to school. This and the third. She asked me to send the Jones back. She's like, you know, because we moved on. This and the third. I sent them the fuck back. I'm like, all right, cool. You know what I mean? I didn't. I didn't had you know. I didn't, mm. did, I didn't hit you every which way in these joints. Like, no, I, I didn't. Sent them back. I mean, I sent. Like, I that sent was them back. noble than a motherfucker for no, a nigga girl, holding listen, on to. Holding listen, on to listen, <laughs> listen, I'm not going to be on no corny shit. Some people, sometimes there's no bullshit. You know what happened to my man? We were so crazy. This is the craziest shit. Now, back in the day, you used to be able to send pictures straight through, it's like straight like straight through the jail. I'm talking about coochie hair out, all of this, you know what I mean? All this stuff. So, you might holler at somebody. I'm like, yo, Gil, you got some shots, some hot shots. He might be like, yeah, I got some hot shots, but it might be mixed with new old. Why my man, some old head gave him some pictures, and his mom was in them joints. Cock, I'm talking about Spread Eagle. Ah! Oh, <laughs> like Lord. His mom in it, so Pete, because whoever she was fucking with back in the day must have, a lot of times when people leave prison, sometimes they be like, yo, here, get past these to my man. Get the joints to his man. Whatever it be, you know what right. I mean? Sometimes it might be a chick he was kicking with. You probably keep the pictures of wifey or whatever, but it was like, he saw that joint, he was like, yo, man. I just I just snapped on over. I said, hold Old head don't even know. Like, you can't snap on him. He There was a mixture of pictures, bro. Mm. And I understand you mad. You took the pictures, right? All right, cool. I mean, you don't know how many other Jones is around. Like, this that third. My other homie, like, he, he like, he basically laughing at this nigga. Like, damn, your mom, damn, how many dudes, mm. like, your mom, been, you, your mom basically been ran around the whole jail. Right. You know what I mean? So it's like, it mom was Mom a penitentiary warrior. So now, he going to visit, snap on his mom. Damn, you want some nut shit, mom? You got me out here looking... She's like, boy, that's back in the day, man. That was with what's name. You remember when I was fucking with what's I said, she told you it casually like that. She like, boy, it ain't about nothing. Anybody done that. Right. He was mad as fuck. Right. But to see your mom in a blaze situation, you go to, you got your piece out, you queued up, and you go that's a couple pictures back. That's crazy. Ah, she like this, the bush. She got a motherfucking buckwheat afro hanging out the coochie, the coochie area. Yeah. Come on, man. While you queued up is wild. You queued up. Ah! So, so if so if she cheated, if your woman cheated on you, right? With a nigga, and then left you for the nigga. If you said "fuck you, bitch," but <laughs> no, that's a, that's no, a, that's a flag on the play. Flag on the you play. cannot yeah. just do that with the. You can't yeah. do that with the work. You can't just put. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna it would have had to been a different level of disrespect or something like. She that. She cheated on you. Fuck is you talking about? I mean, I, I hear you, but she, your woman. You came home one day and your woman cheated on you. And then left you for the nigga. Like, I don't even, I'm sorry, you caught me. I don't want to be in this shit no more. I'm good. That's I'm, crazy, man. If you threw the video up, is that's a flag on the play? It's still a flag, though. Wow, that's porn. I mean, I get it. That's like porn. Like, I get it. You niggas is bitch ass. <laughs> he wanted, he just, he, would you throw it up? Yeah, right up. <laughs> He's a petty, funky, foul ass <laughs> motherfucker, man. <laughs> That's snitching, man. Use a rat. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> the fuck is this? This has nothing to do with snitching. <laughs> fuck is that snitching? No, that's snitching. 
What that Gil definitely to, means his heart was broke. Like a motherfucker. That's why he was mad. He's a, he's a nut. He don't want he don't want to throw this shit up because he don't want the video to get out there. Uh, no, he getting his ass eat. <laughs> <laughs> So I'll put the video. If I can edit the video, I'll put the motherfucker up. I can't put the whole video up. Start off with me getting head in no, my ass. The balls. They, they went to the balls and then she went they underneath. They're they going to see the adventures of baby leg. My shit go up there. They're like, oh, that's baby leg. We heard about it. Oh, man, I don't even know where near my girl. Hey, let me ask you a question. They're going to go see if the girl follow me and all that shit. Let me ask you a question. If you were a woman, y'all had kids, you without a doubt take care of the kid. Mm -hmm. You decide to break up with her. Now, out of out of spite, she take you to child support. Is that a flag on the play, or that's no penalty? <laughs> that's a flag on the play. Because you taking me to child support, and I'm playing my part with my kids already? Yeah. What type of shit is you on? Because you mad? Yes. You want to mess wait, my wait, name wait, up? But, but, but women all over the motherfucking world do that yeah. every day. Oh, you don't want to be a me, okay, pussy, you want a child up. Ah. I don't mind. And a lot of times they listen, rob themselves doing that play, right. play yourself when we in Texas. You know, my baby mom robbed herself. She got that play $50 yourself. a month. They say in Texas it's $1,500. It's max at 1500 in Texas. I gave my baby mom $12.50 a week. No, you didn't. She was mad as shit. It's, that's impossible. No, it's not. $50 a month when you ain't got no job. She was like, this nigga do shows. I was like, what the fuck shows she talking about? Instagram wasn't out back then. <laughs> oh, man. Instagram fucked the game up. The gram wasn't out. I think, listen. She was like, hey, yo, when a judge bring your gram up, like, listen, my nigga, I saw you chain shopping the other week. <laughs> Damn. No, you was just flexing. No, that's Raheem the jeweler watch. No, this is not a Raheem. This is, this is, this is what's the name? This is yeah. one of the real jury stores. Yeah, the gram wasn't out. My baby moms got fucked up. They came out in the time when the gram I, I, wasn't I, I out. I think the gram killed a lot of shit. I think the gram killed celebrity. I'm down in Miami, right? And, uh, Certain, certain, you know, rapper, you know, was coming by his entourage and all that shit. And the one girl was like, girl, that's what's the name? This not there. She's like, I see that nigga on Instagram all the time. I'm not pressed about him. Hey, but you know what? The Graham, I was like, damn. Hey, hey the, Graham Graham got a, shit. the Graham got a lot of front ass niggas in child support. Yeah, for flexing front on the grand. A lot of Raheem the jeweler clients. Because you know what I mean? Baby mom's like, pussy, you got a new fucking watch and you ain't even fucking got mm -hmm. your child no sneakers. Mm -hmm. All right, pussy, is yep. on. Yep. Whole time that watch right costs $62. Yep. Nigga probably chill with his son, right? And then take mad pictures of him in different outfits and just post that shit all the time. This nigga be with his son all the time on the gram, but never ain't seen him in six months. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Yo, that's a petty I thought that shit. nigga was dead of the year and yeah, shit. Like, that dead. nigga ain't seen his son no, in six you months. You like, no, he a good dude. You like, damn. Then you, you go down his, he a good dude, And then you go down his page, it's all recycled pics. You like hold up? That scene is the back same scene. Yeah, he got the same cut on his. <laughs> how he had the zoo? How he had the zoo all all year? It's winter time. They had the zoo. Hey. Oh is crazy. Hey. No. hey, let's get into a uh, million dollars worth of game. Million dollars worth of game is brought to you by. Listen, man, I ain't gonna front. You know, it, it was that time where I used to add this. Oh shit. I used to always have that moment. You when was I used burning? To be, no, I, when I used to shave. Listen, Fuck straight yeah, up. No, I used to be shaving with razors. I'm shaving my, you know, I was, you know, oh. I, I was shaving my, my sack area and all that, shaving all that, cleaning all that up down there. And it'd always be like, I think it's smooth. And it'd be like, ah, it, shit. I'm talking about, it usually, I'm telling you, it always used to be like that. And then you look down there, you see the drip. Ah, oh, you see that, you see, you see the drip hitting that, hitting the water in the shower. You'd be like, ah. Oh. And you, now it's burning. So when you, you go to lather your soap up, you're drawing burning. You know what? Because I wasn't properly, I didn't know nothing about manscaping and all that stuff. So, you know, I, the, the lawnmower uh, 3.0, it wasn't around. I didn't know nothing about that, man. But listen, man, I'm telling you right now, man. Listen, to everybody that's out there, man, listen, man. We're talking about ball manscaping, right? Taking care of your balls area. Because you know a lot of dudes like to shave and like to be clean. You know what I mean? I like mine's, I like my sack just clean, you know? Uh, I'm really into uh, like landscaping my whole situation. Not how you saying I don't have no <laughs> landing strips and none of that shit. Don't try to mess my name up. But like, like, me, like, like I'm talking about you, a lot of you guys got to start taking notes, man, and stop, you know, having these accidents. You know what I mean? Like that stuff is, you know, that's of the past. Like all them accidents, you keep cutting your stuff, your stuff, you, you think all ripped up and it's all burning every time the soap hit it or when the hot water hit it. You know what I mean? No more cuts and nicks, man. Manscaping lawn, listen, the lawnmower, the lawn, because a lot of guys, you know, had the lawn. I had, I had a lawn at one time. Uh, the lawnmower. Now three, you lawn free? 3.0. Listen, man. Are you lawn free? The third generation trimmer, right? Featuring advanced 
skin safe technology so you can keep your bad boys nice and smooth. The bad boys, you know what I mean? <laughs> but you know what thing about this? It was a crew of guys, right? The manscaping, right? The, the engineer team spent 18 months perfecting the greatest ball hair trimmer ever created. Just released new and improved the lawnmower. You see what I'm saying? Like, this is the greatest of all time. I'm talking about, like, we're in a time now where it's, though, we should be the happiest guys on earth because it's like we finally get shaved. I mean, like, take care of trim our balls and don't have to worry about nicks and cuts. Dudes back in the day, they had to worry about that shit. You see what I'm saying? All mm -hmm. type of athletes and all that. They, they whole thing was just tall up. They going to do a layup. <laughs> you know how somebody, you're like, damn, he usually make that layup. He, he didn't, man, he didn't, he, his balls wasn't shaved right. <laughs> He had some. He even had a bunch of hair on it, or he nicked it a couple times. So when he did a layup, he's like, "Damn, he usually make that joint." No, he nicked his joint in the locker room when he was shaving in the locker room, so he couldn't get his piece right. You know what I mean? So it'd be like, "Damn, you want to have your thing clean? You don't want to have no particles. Uh, you know, uh, you don't want to have no, you know, no forests and none of that stuff. You you can trim your stuff, man. And that's why the lawnmower 3.0 is everything you need, man. One of the coolest features is that. Listen, one thing I like about it, the L. E D the light. I'm talking about the light, which illuminate the grooming areas for closer, more precise trimming. Think about it. You know how you, you feel like a star. You know what I mean? Like your, your nuts got the light on it. Like you like, <laughs> damn, you sitting there, you're like, damn, my nuts, your nuts light up. Let's like oh, So it's a spotlight for the nuts. Ladies and gentlemen, come into the stage. You know what I mean? So you like, oh, the balls. You're like, damn, you're like, it's like a red carpet effect. Like you coming out, the lights all on you, they're asking you questions and all that stuff. So it's like you think it's just like, you know what I mean? And it's like, it's just, it's just everything, man. I mean, so it's like, so you know. So where they get it at? <clears throat> and it's USB powered, man. Listen, man, you get this at like manscaped.com. All you got to do is listen. You get 20% off free shipping with the code GAME, G-A-M-E, at manscaped.com. That's all you got to do, man. Get 20% off free shipping at GAME. I mean, just use the code GAME at manscaped.com. The 20% off free shipping at manscaped.com. Please, listen, your partner, your dick, your boss will thank you. Yeah. All Everybody right. would, no, straight up, they'll thank you. Oh, what's up? You got, you got to get some pussy too, though. You just gotta clean balls. <laughs> you gotta get the clean that's balls, not my part. and then a good, to get in a good dick suck. Then your balls. Is I don't like, know. That's <laughs> not. Good. I don't know. Uh, hey, listen. Let's get into me and Osborne's game, man. You got some questions? For listen, me? man. I got some questions for you guys, man. Mm -hmm. Like this is, this is just like. Hold up. Here we go. I like this new thing we got going. On. Yeah, look here, man. This is Lawrence from Beaumont, California, man. Little Stick City, aka Alaska. Hey, how do I get on the team with y'all? I'm prettier and I'm funnier hmm. than the nigga next door. How at me. A million dollars worth of game. How do I sit with y'all and become part of the team? Because like I said, my waves are deep and so is my voice. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, let's do it. I'm from the sticks. Yeah. Hold up. Hold up. First of all, he's spicy. <laughs> he's spicy. No, he's, he's, he's a spicinator. Oh, he's yeah, spicy. I mean, he's a, fuck the baconator. He's the spicinator from Wendy's. All right, let's go to the next. Yeah, I mean, no, he's talking about my waves are deeper. No, no, he's talking about. My voice is dark. I'm uh, Lawrence. How can I sit with y'all? You know? <laughs> I'm, I'm the prettiest in my I'm waves. The prettiest. So that's pretty he fucked up. He's talking about the prettiest. Nigga, ain't no, well, you think you're pretty? I think he was coming again. No, I ain't never no, been pretty. No. Like. The pride was your old silly. No, it wasn't I used my to sit with Wallow. He used no, he ain't seen no shit like that. And rub my head. No, listen, he ain't call me that. He Let's used go to, to massage the next. my shoulders and my back. Let's go to the next question. And my thigh areas. Yo, what's good, Wallow? What's good, yo? From Delaware. You mean? I'm just trying to figure out um, why I came and get a lot of love. Still get a lot of love. I'm really shouting out Delaware. Like, the other day, y'all talk about, uh, uh, what y'all say, uh, I think it was like, she was Pennsylvania and, you know. All right, go to the next one. You talk about why we don't shout Delaware out because we ain't feel like a nigga. All right, here we go. <laughs> it's our shit. Get the fuck out of here. All right, here you go. Fuck you mean, here nigga. You go. Oh, hi there, guys. I'm just sitting here air frying some pork chops. I was wondering, I was singing a popular rap song with my friend the other day, and uh, the M word came along. So I said, brothers, instead of the M word. I just wonder, what should you do as a, as a fellow Caucasian when the M word comes along in a popular song you're singing? I just want to know from you guys' perspective, like, what are we supposed to do there? Let me tell you something. To all the white people across America, when you listen to a, a rap song and the N-word is in the rap song, do me a favor. Sing that shit. <laughs> all right. My nigga. 
fuck is Jay? What the, what the fuck did you write the record for? You wrote, oh, I'm supposed to be a human muter, so I'm supposed to go, we came through when we saw them. <laughs> Every time I, I be messing with it. No, bitch, you wrote it. I'm going to see how you wrote it. So be in the car. <laughs> I'm a nigger, he's a nigger, she's a nigger, we some niggers, wouldn't you like to be a nigger too? That's how the song go, you sing that shit. I don't give a fuck. If you listening to the song, you definitely allow. Hey. How the fuck you gonna be in the club and you gonna mute every nigga in every song? And it's nigga in well, every song. be careful in but the not club. Just that. <laughs> not just that, let me ask you a question though, Def. Did, did, like, you know, a lot of people say, oh, don't use the N-word and N-word, but like, Motherfuckers use that all day. Right. Yeah. Like, the crazy part is we like, know we use say, it as the word man. We use it like, we say white niggas, but is it cool Asian or, niggas. Is it cool or is it not cool? We can't say, oh, it's cool to use. Oh, we, nah, we so, use it or so, don't so, use so, it. So, so this is all, I mean, I'm not an expert on this, but I feel like regionally, like, you know how here, like Puerto Ricans say nigga, we mm -hmm. consider them all like niggas. In different places in the country, it's not like that, yo. Yeah, well, it, you know what I'm saying. I'm talking it, about where we at. Well, we live in the urban area, mm -hmm. and white people be all day. What's up, nigga? Mm -hmm. It's my nigga, man. We don't. He don't say, uh, uh, nigger. Er, nah, a nigger. That's the difference. He say that's my nigga, man. You know what I'm saying? So for me, if I write that shit in a song, and you Caucasian, please say it with me <laughs> as I'm saying it. I don't like you niggas. Please say it. Scream that shit with me. You hear me? Fuck out of here. Motherfuckers be overthinking shit too much. Like you supposed to be a human. Motherfucking, uh, uh, you, you supposed to, you supposed to have a built in motherfucking, uh, radio version <laughs> in your fucking head. No. Nigga, fuck it. Let's be for real. Cause when y'all in the car alone, y'all be like, y'all say that shit just like us. So yeah. fuck mm -hmm. it. Right, when you're in the club, we, say it when you're out and about. Anytime you hear my song, say that shit. You're going to tap into one more person. Hey, what's up? My name is Desi. Um, I'm from Oakland, California. Um, I don't know. I'm just cheesing hella hard just hearing the whole me, 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 me thing. Like, that just kind of got me hyped or whatever, but... Um, as of right now, I don't really have any game that I need. I just wanted to, like, big you guys up. I've been watching for a while now. Um, I've been a, a, a long-time fan, listener, viewer, supporter, <clears throat> all of that. Um, commenter, you know, <laughs> everything. Um, I try to interact with with Devness Rodman and I be hitting Wild up and I definitely tag Gilly in 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 all my posts and I support Skazy and Mac and Cheese like I'm with the whole movement or whatever. So I just wanted to, you know, pop on here right quick. I saw that y'all had the number going and it just made me excited. So yeah. Maybe I'll be calling in with some games that I need to you know, 31 years old out here, 31 years young. All right, shout out to that lady from yeah. Oakland, man. That's a real she's fan. Definitely, she's a real fan. She said, that's this Rodman. Yeah, but damn, I got to be Devness Rodman? Yeah, she that's who he is. Nigga, she know you're spicy, nigga. She know you the Spicinator. The Spice Boy. The Spicinator. New by Wendy's. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into stories from the cell. Listen, man, this stories from the cell, man, listen, is a deep one. Uh... When I was in prison, man, and people would come back, the recidivism rate was high, and people always come back. And a lot of times I would have cellmates, and I'd be like, yo, man, what happened? Um, the fear, it's a fear of, of leaving prison. I know a lot of people think people is excited, but all of us have fear, and it's this fear of not being able to do everything you told everybody you was going to do over them phones and them letters over the years and them visits, and it just be a fear of felon. And it's an unbelievable fear. It's an unbelievable feeling, and we all have it. And um, a lot of times when people come home, it's like, you, you know, if you got a family member, have a conversation with them. A lot of people put pressure on themselves. They put a lot of pressure on themselves, and they say to themselves, I'm mm -hmm. going home. I want to do this. They, they promise and shit on the phone, so now mm -hmm. they want to come home. And if they was living a lifestyle before where they was getting a lot of drug money or, or robbery, whatever they was doing, they was living this certain lifestyle – it's not going to be the same, but they they talking to people as they're still living in that moment and they still that person. You're not the same person. Right. Because now some people decide to be the same person because they said, I'm going out there and I'm going right at this shit just right. like this. But some people got to 
uh, understand that, hold up, that's not what you're doing. You're not living that life no more. You might got to get a job and you might not be slinging dope. You might not be making a few grand a week now. You might only be making if if a few grand uh, in a few months mm -hmm. right. from working because you got to get your feet wet. Right. You know, uh, And it's like you'll be having all these promises. You'll be putting all this pressure on you and you're not even trying to get yourself right. You're promising shit to your kids. You're promising your shit to this girl you, you know that did the time with you or whatever, whether it's your child's mother, whether it's your wife, whatever, and you're not even in position. Like you'll come home, you, you know, some people would be, have all this pressure and I'm doing this, I'm doing that. Some dudes that get out, be back in jail, they ain't even get a chance to get their license. I'm like, damn, I'm not, oh, I was out there for three months. Three months? Right. The fuck, man, I had to I had to hit a lick, man. Lick, a lick? You had to do what? You bust the move? Right. Damn, what was you doing? Oh, no, I ain't even going nowhere, man. You went right back to the same mentality because a lot of times we be in prison and a lot of people, they don't elevate. They just be in there talking about the same shit. And I always harp on this because it's important. If you got a family member in there and they call you <laughs> from jail, don't be doing no motherfucking goofy ass three way. Oh yeah, bust a move, do this that third. Have a real conversation with them and start asking them questions like, "Yo, what you doing in there? Like, what, like, what, what, you know, what's your plans when you getting out? How can I help you? How can I help you materialize your plans? Right. What, what type of footwork you need for me to do out here? Right. Like, you know what I mean? Do you need me to look up some job? I mean, do you need me to connect with some people? Do you need some applications? Do you need some resumes written? What do you need out here where it can enhance your chances of being successful on parole or staying mm -hmm. free when you get here. Right. Because a lot of times, man, motherfuckers come home and they had all these dreams because they didn't look at pictures or they didn't heard what so-and-so doing out there. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, so-and-so getting money. Mm -hmm. So-and-so was just down here. So-and-so mm -hmm. was in, he was just at the Grammys. He was at Miami. He doing mm -hmm. this. That's not your life, Slick. Mm -hmm. So-and-so is probably never went to jail, probably in the game or whatever. So-and-so is probably getting money somewhere else. So-and-so probably got real estate. So-and-so probably, that's so-and-so that stayed out of jail. He stayed out of jail and he had a regular job and he ran his bag up. Right. Because he was out of state, build his credit up. He got a license to carry multiple shit. So, you know, a lot of times, man, I understand it's a fear there, but a lot of that time we put a lot of pressure on ourselves coming home because we talking about taking care of everybody. And some of you dudes gotta realize you're not the boss you once was. Right. That little package you had before you went to jail. That shit is gone. Right. You know what I mean? You, and you the nigga that's out there now is the new you. It's the new you and you operate. He operated. will blaze the shit out of you in He will get you out of here just because of who you used to be and just and that coming home. A lot of people be scared too because they did shit to people, but you got the people that's coming home on the shit like, because some reason, I don't know what it is in our culture, a lot of people think that, oh, I went to jail. I'm tougher than I was before I went to jail, and I really wasn't tough before I went to jail, but I'm tough now. Oh, I did a bit. And that's oh, all I'm of a real. Side. <clears throat> oh, I'm real. And another thing I just want to harp on, uh, we got to get out of the mentality of believing that in the, in the hood and in the community that, oh, being real is doing dumb shit. Oh, I'm right. real because I got a gun. I'm real because right. I post up on the block. I'm, I'm real because I sell I'm, drugs. Listen, I'm real because I don't go nowhere. I'm real because I shot a nigga. Yeah. I'm real because I just stay in the hood and I never I'm been real because I did three to yeah. six. I don't never. I ain't never. I ain't never Ooh, been on a plane. I did five to ten. I ain't going to. Oh, I'm real because I talk tough real shit. Right. That's bullshit. Right. Young boys, y'all got to be on point, man, and don't get caught right. up in that mentality and thinking that shit is right. right. You see what I'm saying? Real is being yourself. It's, right. it's, it's a motherfucker that's real right now and is working at Wendy's. Absolutely. That's working at Chick-fil-A. Does somebody, he know who he is yeah, as a man? Real is knowing who you are and embracing that shit. Absolutely. Not doing no dickhead shit talking about I'm tough, I'm real. Oh, I'm real because I don't want to go to school. I don't want no education. I right. just want to post up on the block. I just right. want to be a criminal. Right. Being real ain't got nothing to do with and being no criminal. you ain't real because you go to college. Yeah, you, no. you're a nut because you go to college. You're a nut because no. you want better things for yourself. Right. You, you, you're a nut because you want to live in a safer environment. You're a nut because right. you do the... No, 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 don't go for that shit. Don't let no nigga... Don't let these dudes finesse you out of your life, finesse you out of your peace, finesse you out of your happiness. Right. You know what I mean? And I'm going to sign off with that, man. And this is me and I was worth a game, man. Listen, we appreciate y'all tuning in each and every week. The merch week. is coming. The merch is coming each and every week, man. We love y'all. Please continue to the tune in and keep continue to make us number one. This is Million Dollars Worth of Game Power by Barstool Sports. Yes. I go by the name of Gilly the King. I'm Wallow267. That's Dev, a.k.a. Dev Nasty, and that's Nasty Nut, the new group. They're coming out with an uh, album called Filthy oh, Soaking Wet Nut. The <laughs> no, nut. no, we're not. We're not yeah, coming they, out they with that album. Shit. I don't know nothing about it. That was his jail album. <laughs> <laughs> what? He, he trying to get some sales for his jail album. That was about to go up on iTunes. Do. Freaky, nasty nuts. What? <laughs> it was great. <laughs> like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, but this is me and I was worth a game. Appreciate y'all tuning in. And it's just like that. Right!